back to plug your ear holes with the most annoying noises in the world. I have to be a little more quiet this morning as it is 5.45 a.m. and the wife is still asleep, but I couldn't sleep anymore, mostly thanks to the dogs snoring, but I had to get up anyway. So, I'm going to knock out this little sports report for you real quick, and we'll move on with our day, and we'll get right at it. This is your sports report for May the 4th. Be with you. The Boston Celtics draw even with 121-87 drubbing of the Philadelphia 76ers. Jalen Brown and Malcolm Brogdon combined for 48 points. Malcolm Brogdon, who was the NBA Sixth Man of the Year, came off the bench and added 23. And Jalen Brown, who started in the game, had 25. Tobias Harris led all scorers for the Philadelphia 76ers with 16. The Sixers shot an abysmal 29% from three-point range and 39% from the floor. So not a good day shooting at all. The Sixers are back home on Friday, revenge of the 5th. Coming at you tonight on May the 4th, be with you. The Warriors try to pull even with the Los Angeles Lakers in Game 2 of that series. Be on the lookout for Anthony Davis. He clearly has the advantage, and he is looking to have another monster game. He had 39 points and 23 rebounds in Game 1. Steph Curry had 27, but it was clearly not enough as the Lakers pulled out a Game 1 win, Game 2 tonight. couple of hockey scores for you on this uh, rendition of the 10 minute sports report as my brain is clearly not awake the Carolina Hurricanes used two goals in the first period and two goals in the third period to absolutely just molly whop the New Jersey Devils by final score of 5-1 to one. Brady Chutsky slaps home the Canes' fourth goal that would come in the third period to really put that game on ice. The Carolina Hur- Hurricanes go up in the best of four se- in the best of seven series, one to nothing. The Golden Knights used three goals in the first period and three goals in the third period to overcome. The Edmonton's Oilers forward um, and I had his name and now my computer crashed so that's awesome. Uh, the Edmonton o- Oilers guy scored four times. Here he is. Four times. Leon Dry. I don't even know, I don't even know how to say that. I I honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I have no idea. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh put up the screen right here and you can see his name for yourself because I have no idea how to say this dude's name. So this dude scored four times. It's Leon something. So take your best guess at it. DM the podcast at 4th and 1 on Instagram and let me know. Like I said, it's very early in the morning and, and at this point I just don't care. Anyway, he scored four times. The Vegas Golden Knights overcame him scoring four times by a final of 6-4. to four. Coming at you tonight on May the 4th, be with you in the race for the Lord Stanley Cup. The Florida Panthers, who took a one game to nothing lead on the road from the Toronto Maple Leafs, will try to make that 2 nothing. That is 7 o'clock on TNT. The Dallas Stars, who got game one stolen from them on their home ice by the Seattle Kraken at 9.30 on TNT will uh, we'll try to even that series up before they go on the road. And finally, just a little baseball scores for you because I got nothing left for you. The Philadelphia 76ers lose to Los Angeles Dodgers 6-10. to 
Craig Kimball only pitched one third of an inning, so he only got one out in the inning and allowed four runs in the bottom of the ninth. Before that, it was tied at six apiece. And then the NL Central leading Pittsburgh Pirates. For those of you that don't know, the Pirates have one of the lowest payrolls in all of the league. They are leading their division. They lose, though, and have lost three straight. This loss came at the other surprise, the Tampa Bay Rays, who also have one of the lowest payrolls in the league. They, The Pittsburgh Pirates lose to them by a final score of 8-1. to one. Uh, Wando Franco, the all-star shortstop for the Tampa Bay Rays, had one home run in the game and two RBIs. That'll do it for another sloppy edition of the 10-Minute Sports Report. I'm coming in at you in a hot 6 minutes and 30 seconds. Don't forget to DM the podcast or DM me personally uh, with what you got guys think that hockey player's last name is because honestly I have no idea and I'm done trying to pronounce names and just butcher them so I pulled it up on the screen so take a look get back at me and then we'll see what you got and if you send me a voice memo in the DM I might even play it on the next episode of the 10 minute sports report thank you everyone so much for listening wash your hands you filthy animals can't wait to see you tomorrow